The month of Safar has started. Millions of Shias are getting ready to travel to Karbala for the ziyarat of Arba'een of Imam Hussein ibn Ali alayhi salatu wa salam. The visitation and ziyarat of Hussein ibn Ali has been emphasized by our imams from the early days. When you look at the imams who came after the events of Karbala, you know, this has been emph emphasized from that time all the way when you look at the, even the era of the minor occultation, Ghaybate <clears throat> Sughra. Many, many companions of the imams who uh, compiled their notebooks of the uh, hadith of the imams, uh, which are known as Asl or Usul, um, and the books which were written especially during the time of the later imams by the companions F and the scholars of the time, you will see there was a great interest that there were books even before the uh, Ghaybat time started, books dealing with the issues of dua and ziyarat. So this concept of dua and ziyarat, this is not a cultural issue. This has been there emphasized by the imams themselves, especially when we talk about the ziyarat of Imam Hussain alayhi <clears throat> salam. You see the ahadith about the ziyarat for the imam all the way from the fifth imam to our present imam, al hujjah ibn Hassan salawatullah alayhi. <clears throat> During the days of the 11th Imam, which also coincides few years with the time of Mutawakkil, the most brutal of the uh, Khulafa of Banu Abbas, he actually had this hatred towards Hussein ibn Ali. He tried to prevent the Shias from going from the ziyarat, uh, to the ziyarat of Imam, and even erased, tried to erase the signs of the grave of Imam Hussein. However, he failed in that attempt. But you will see that during the same time, our 11th Imam elevates this importance of the ziyarat of Arba'een to the level of a sign for a mu'min. There is a very famous hadith that there are, you know, uh, five signs for a mu'min, and one of them is ziyarat al Arba'een. And this is where we see that the emphasis for the ziyarat has been there. In this khutbah, I would like to share with you a hadith from Imam Ja'far al-Sariq alayhi salatu wa salam. <coughs> Coming from a very reliable source, Sheikh Kulaini has uh, given it with truth two sanads. Uh, Sheikh Saduq also uh, narrates that. And this is from a companion of the Imam by the name of Muawiyah bin Wahab. And this hadith is beyond any level, you know, level of any doubt about authenticity. Um, <clears throat> he says, I went to visit the Imam, you know, asked permission, I was asked to come in. I went to the room and I saw Imam was uh, in, on, on his musalla. So I sat down. The sixth Imam finished his salat and then he goes into the state of sajda and he recited a dua which Wahab, uh, Muawiyah bin Wahab now narrates. He says that I heard him. And look at, you know, the, the preamble and the actual dua that he's asking. is very powerful there, but he says, Allahumma ya man khassana bil karama wa wa'adana bil shafa'a wa khassana bil wasiyya wa atana ilma ma mada wa ilma ma baqiya wa ja'ala af'idatan min al-nas tahwi ilayna. Addressing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in his dua and prayer, in the state of sajda, he says, Oh Allah, you are the one who blessed us with karama, with honor. You promised for us the right of shafa'at and intercession. You have given us the right of wasiyyat to be the successors of the Prophet. You have given us the knowledge of the past and 
the future. And you have met the hearts of the people inclined towards us. That is actually a part of the dua of Ibrahim alayhi salam when he prayed for his descendants from Ismail in Mecca. He says, Allah, you know, uh, incline the hearts of the people towards them. <clears throat> so after this preamble, he's, he's addressing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and thanking him that you are the one who have blessed us in that way. Now he comes to the actual dua, what he's asking. He says, اغفر لي ولإخواني وزوار قبر عبد الحسين. Look at the preamble, which is very powerful. And then what is the dua? The dua is, oh Allah, forgive me, my brothers, and the zuwar of the grave of my father Hussein. Who are the people? Alladheena anfaqu amwalihum. Those who spend their money to go for the ziyarat. وَعَشْخَسُ وَبْدَانَهُمْ رَغْبَةً فِي بِرِّنَا And they, you know, went physically, they went themselves. Uh, in order to, uh, out of the desire for being kind to us. وَرَجَاءً لِمَا عِنْدَكَ فِي سَلَتِنَا فِي سِلَتِنَا And hoping from you uh, the reward that you have um, for maintaining these ties with us. وَسُرُورًا أَدْخُلُوهُ عَلَى نَبِيِّكَ And by doing this ziyarat, they uh, met the heart of uh, your Nabi, uh, delighted. وَإِجَابَةً مِنْهُمْ لِأَمْرِنَا And they have done this as a obedience to our command. وَغَيْذًا أَدْخُلُوهُ عَلَى عَدُوِّنَا By doing the ziyarat of Hussein, they made our enemies angry. <clears throat> and the purpose of their ziyarat is to make you pleased. And therefore, فَكَافِهِمْ عَنَّا بِالْرِزْوَانِ oh Allah, you know, for our sake, give them this ridwan and your pleasure. وَكْلَهُمْ بِاللَّيْلِ وَالنَّهَارِ You know, keep them under his shadow, under your shadow during the night and day. And then he prays, you know, those, the family members that they have left behind in their homes, oh Allah, and their children, take care of them. Um, keep them away from the evil of all kinds of, you know, shayateen of jinn and ins, and uh, provide them and help them. And then at the end, <clears throat> he says, I'm just leaving one paragraph out. Farham tilka al allati ghayyarat has shams. You know, uh, Allah have mercy on the faces which have been in a way affected by the sunlight. You know, those days when we were traveling mostly on camels and horses, uh, and so people would have been affected in that way. So he says, Allah, oh Allah have mercy on the faces who in this journey were affected by the sunlight. وَرْحَمْ تَلْكَ الْخُدُودَ الَّتِي تَتَقَلَّبُ عَلَى حَضْرَةِ عَبِي عَبْدِ اللَّهِ الْحُسَيْنِ oh Allah have mercy on the cheeks, those which were placed on the shrine and the grave of Hussein. When you go and kiss the zari of Imam Musa this is not just, you know, an issue of cultural thing. You know, this is, Imam is doing the dua for that face and the cheek which touches the shrine of Hussein ibn Ali. وَرَحَمْ تَلْكَ الْأَعْيُنُ الَّتِي جَرَتْ دُمُوعْهَا رَحْمَةً لَنَا O Allah have mercy on the eyes which shed tears, you know, out, out of their love and compassion for us. وَرَحَمْ تَلْكَ الْقُلُوبِ الَّتِي جَزِعَتْ جَزِعَتْ وَاحْتَرَقَتْ لَنَا And o Allah have mercy on the hearts of those, the, the hearts which were said for us. وَرْحَمْ تِلْكَ السَّرْخَ الَّتِي كَانَتْ لَنَا And Allah have mercy on the cry that they let out for our sake. And so this is where we come to realize that this whole process of the ziyarat of Imam Hussain 
you know, and then he ends with the words, Allahumma inni astawdi'uka, tilka al-abdan wa tilka al-anfus, hatta tuwafihim ala al-hawz, yawm al-atash al-akbar. He says, oh Allah, I, you know, these bodies and these souls, I place them in your care till on the day of Qiyamah when people will be thirsty, you will quench that thirst by the fountain of a kawthar, inshallah. Salawat, brother. <laughs>